Hello, welcome to my new series of tutorials on creating a plan, section and elevation of a small house. In this tutorial video, I'll explain the procedure to create a site plan. So what you see over here is a site plan and let's see how it can be created using AutoCAD software. So when you measure the site, you have to take all the necessary measurements. So this is 1096 which has got a horizontal orientation and you have to take all this outer dimensions as well as the diagonal dimensions. So let me just draw this line first. So I'll start with the line command and I'll start from here. Then I'll give a distance of 1096 which is the measured value. Okay. Then from this particular endpoint, I'll create a circle with a radius of 1032.12. So I'll go to circle command, take center radius option and I'll draw a circle with a given dimension. So that circle is drawn. Then I have this diagonal dimension which is measured again from the side. So I'll draw another circle corresponding to that using the center radius option. So I'll give 1549.32. That's a given value. Next I'll draw line connecting this end point to this intersection. And uh, hence we can construct this land line. Once this land line is created, then you can erase these two circles since they are no longer required. Then I'll draw another circle from this end point using the same center radius method and with a dimension of 1172.43 that is given here. And this is a slant line. Then I also have this diagonal measurement with me which is measured from the site and that value is 1623.28. So I'll construct a circle with that value as a radius. Okay, now we have got this point of intersection here. So I'll draw a line from this endpoint to this endpoint. Then one more line from this endpoint to this endpoint. You can just cross check this dimension. This dimension is actually given here as 1192.56, which is a measured dimension. So I'll give dist command to get this dimension from this endpoint to this endpoint. And it is exact value 1192.57. You can erase these two circles. So this is how you construct a site plan using AutoCAD software. Now let's create the outer wall. But in order to create the outer wall, you have to leave some setbacks from all the four sides. The value of these setbacks varies from region to region. So in this tutorial, I'll stick to the setback which is applicable to the area wherein I'm residing. Now I'm going to take the front setback as 3 meters and this side is 1 meter and this side is 1.2 meters and the rear setback is 2 meters. The shape of the outer wall should be rectangular. That is because the rectangular shape can give you maximum space utilization. So what I'll do is I'll draw a line from here to here. Then one line from here. Then another one like this. These lines are either horizontal or vertical. This is already a horizontal line because while plotting the site, you can keep one side as horizontal to make things simple. Okay, and from here, as I've mentioned before, it is going to be one meter. So I'll go to offset command and I'll give an offset distance of 100 centimeters. Select object to offset and the side to offset. Then over here, it's 120. And on the back side, it is two meters. And on the front side, it is three meters. Okay. Next, I'll perform trimming to get rid of unwanted lines. So this is the wall layout, which is rectangular in shape. So this is how you construct a site plan as well as the outer wall layout while designing the plan of a house. In the next tutorial, we will create the outer wall as well as partition walls. Then we will incorporate the symbols of doors, windows and ventilators at respective locations. Thanks for your time. Until I meet you in the next tutorial, bye for now.